Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Olivia with Crafting with Ollie. Look what I created today, a little quick and easy wreath on a bicycle wheel. And of course, with my favorite flower, the sunflowers, okay? And these sunflowers, they could, they could be the fall flowers. So this wreath could be a fall wreath maybe, or summer, more than summer because of the bee here, right? So I hope y'all can give this a try. And, and if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and of course, Hit the notification bell so you'll get more notices when I do make more crafts. Okay, quick uh, list of supplies. You're going to need some sunflowers, of course, and I got these at Hobby Lobby. Make sure you get them when it's 40% off, guys. And also these little white flowers, they're from Hobby Lobby. Again, get them when it's 40%. A bicycle wheel from Dollar Tree. Some burlap ribbon. And of course, uh, a sign if you please to have a sign in the center. And of course, I ordered these from Amazon. All right, let me go ahead and get started and clear all this stuff out of the way. All right, so so you can have uh, room. I mean, not room, but a good base for your flowers to glue to stick on. I mean, that's why I'm using this uh, ribbon here, this burlap ribbon. So I'm going to glue it down. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of glue on the frame. And just glue this down onto it. Oh, and that's why I got my finger protector so I can protect my fingers from getting burned. Okay, so this will slip right through, and it's thin enough, so it, it worked perfectly for me. So it just depends what, how much burlap you got, guys. And um, this is not going to show, and like, and again, it's just for a, a base for me to have so I can put flowers on, because you cannot put it on this thin wire. You need to have a, a big enough base. So that's why I'm covering it up with this burlap ribbon. So all I'm gonna do from here on is just wrap it around. Okay, just twist it and and go through the loops here. And what I was trying to say is if you don't have this color, you can use any color you want. Anyways, it's not going to show. So that's all I needed to say on that. So just keep going and uh, all you do is just twisting it on. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around the whole wheel. So that's about it. Alright guys, I am done with the burlap ribbon. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to get the leaves from the... Oops. From this, I already took out all the flowers. And uh, now I'm just going to do the leaves because the leaves go in first. So I'm just going to put every other, like every other spoke, one facing in, one facing out. Just however, you know, just to get a little feel for where your flowers are going to be. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick here. stick so as that one's going out I'm gonna put this one uh, going in this way and if you you don't have to cut these off anyways uh, hopefully the flowers you'll cover that up or if you if it's not then you can come back and just cut that little piece off so I'm just going to put some glue on here real quick and glue it right there So let me just, I'm going to pull out a couple more from here. Some are bigger than others, so if you don't want them too big, don't use the big ones. Okay, this was going to be going this way. So let me add some right here. And stick it there. I 
These ones are too big. I'm going to get some smaller ones. And I did get two of these uh, bushels because there's only eight flowers and you need more than eight flowers to complete the whole thing. So you have to get two. So in case you are thinking of getting uh, getting these flowers from the uh, Hobby Lobby, just think about that, that you are going to need several. Depending on the size of, of, the, of the sunflower you get also, these are not too Oh, let me look at the measuring right here. It's about three inches, three and a half inches. I'm talking. So you might, if you get bigger flowers, then of course you will need less. Okay, when you pull out the flowers, make sure you cut out the stem that's back here uh, so you can lay it flat, a little bit more flat. That little stem is going to be in your way. So just cut it off and just start adding your flowers in here. My beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers, guys. I'm sure you all have heard me say that several times. I am the sunflower girl. And so here, just... It's going to be easy just to put the little sunflowers on because, like I said, that burlap there really helps for to make the base. For it. All right, guys, I'm just going to continue working on this. And again, it depends how many flowers you've got. So your spacing needs to, you know, to keep that in mind, how far you want them, how close you want them. And I am going to be putting little white flowers in between also. So just keep that in mind also about that and I'll be back when I'm done going all around all right guys I'm done with all the flowers and uh, now just to give a little pop of color I'm going to add some little white ones like I had I showed you earlier and I just snipped it with the scissors and uh, little areas where you see uh, green you can pop a little flower in there Wherever you see a little bit of green, just put it in there. Kind of like giving it a little uh, taste of color in there. Hopefully they are visible. There's kind of like a little baby's breath, but in a different type of flower. So just keep going all the way around and I'll be back when I'm done with this little section. Okay guys, I'm done with the little white flowers. Now what I'm going to focus on is the, the bee that I'm going to be putting on this little sign. But before I do anything to it, I'm just going to put this on the back of this. This is going to be for me to tie it down. So I just got this pipe cleaner and I'm going to put it up here. And to make sure that it stays, I went ahead and got just this ribbon and I'm going to place it on top just for, for extra reinforcement for it to stay. Let me just add some hot glue to this section here and this part here too. All right, I'll let that dry before I put it on the wreath. Just make sure you put enough glue to keep this down. Okay, what I'm going to do on the back side of this is I'm going to just spruce this up a little bit. I like, I like uh, shiny stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some black glitter in some areas of the bee just so that it'll stand out. And I'm just use reg using regular school Elmer's glue here. Just apply it on. And uh, I guess, um, like I said, this is just my taste. I like shiny glittery stuff so that's why I decided to add a little bit of glitter on here just 
just to spruce him up a little bit. And I know some people don't like to work with glitter because it gets everywhere, <laughs> but I like it. Just use a little paper here to gather all your glitter so it's not all over you. Okay, and see, it's looking a lot better now, just with a little shine and glow in there. I think it looks better just by adding that. And I'm, I'm going to add some more to this, and of course a little tail down here. His little, what did I say, the stinger, right? They have a little stinger on your tail. Whoa. Okay, so I'm just add some more glue to this area right here. And you don't need to use that much glue, guys. Notice how much glue I'm using and just spreading it evenly with my finger so that it goes on evenly and smoothly and you don't have to use that much glue like I said I know when I was a teacher I know my kids just to love to pour that glue like I said you don't need that just a little dot here and there and that's enough it'll work and now uh, they love that and oops let me let me shake that off off here all right guys so I won't bore you I'm just going to continue with this I'll be right back when I'm done with the rest of this here all right guys here's my little bee with this little stinger <laughs> okay so now I'm just going to put the this pipe cleaner right through that so I can <clears throat> attach them on just flip this over real quick so that I can all I'm gonna do is just twist the, the pipe cleaner back here and of course if you want to cut all these this extra you can let me just flip it over real quick to see how it holds okay so it does hold on pretty good it's good right there Alright guys, I'll just tighten it up a little bit more so it won't move uh, like that. Just That's all I needed, just a little bit of tightening and there you have it. Okay. What did y'all think? Hope y'all enjoyed my craft here guys. I think it came out nice. I like sunflowers of course, that's why I like it. Uh, I hope y'all can give this a try. It's a little easy and it'll be great on your door. Bye!